Samad uh, it was impressive for a lot of reasons that the emotions that he was able to keep under control, a couple walks, a big spot there. You know, he's checking the signs every pitch. He doesn't know if we're going to have him bunt. You know, he so there was a lot going on, obviously, in that inning. And for him to be able to keep it under control, you know, Davinsky had been out there for several hitters, so he had had a chance to see other guys react to that changeup, which is a really good pitch. Um, but for him to come through there was tremendous. I mean, the energy, the excitement, the emotion, you know, for, for him and for everybody else, obviously, to to get a little monkey off our back there. And and then my favorite part other than for Samad was Bobby going to get the ball. So that, that was one of the cooler scenes. I was going to ask you if you've ever seen a player just run straight out to center field. <laughs> no, but I liked his chances against the bat boy to get there first. <laughs> see Salvi pick him up as well? No. Samad? No, I didn't see that part. How would you describe, you, you mentioned it, but Samad's energy and, like, just to be that stable. Um, and it's yeah, it's impressive. And, you know, the other thing, you know, that, that it doesn't go noticed, but, you know, when he's in the dugout, he was kind of what we expected, you know, cheering people on, picking them up in Spanish, in English, you know, back and forth, getting guys going on deck and in the dugout. So he did exactly what we've heard he's been doing in AAA and he, you know, what we saw in the spring. Do you sense that, that calmness before you sent him up to the plate, the, before he went up to the plate the ninth inning? I just wondered about the decision to set up the bond for, for him to have that at bat. Yeah, well, I, I figure the, the calmness of him, Nicky's a really good bunter, first of all, so that was A number one. You know, we have a chance possibly to steal third there. But there's a lot of risk there in the inside move. You know, we'll take our chances. I thought the fact that he had seen Davinsky for a while there from the side, I thought he had a pretty good chance of making contact. Um, and and the walks that he worked earlier in the game had something to do with that, that I thought he had a, a pretty good shot. I just want to make sure I understood that you were considering a squeeze there, too. Well, we were putting signs on every pitch. I wasn't going to do it, but for him to be able to to lock in on the signs. You're just watching the way he took his time. He called time out. It wasn't a 3-2 count or anything. So he he was trying to get everything under control, and he he did. He him under control. How about Bobby's at-bats coming through with four RBI today? Yeah. And he was, if I'm not mistaken, he was the first guy to face Davinsky. And to not know what that changeup looks like and to have the shadows and all that kind of stuff, that, that was a very disciplined at-bat. You mentioned the walks, <clears throat> two walks in your major league debut. That shows patience. We don't see a lot of guys. No, you're exactly right. Patience, but also controlling yourself. You know, I mean, because the, I can only imagine the feeling is, let me just take a hack at this thing. You know, like every the excitement. I'm, his family was here, all that kind of stuff. So to be able to keep himself under control, was was really impressive. What kind of, what kind of uh, confidence booster can this win be for a young team? You know, coming back after a, a ten game losing streak to just bounce and have that build that confidence a little bit more. Well, I certainly hope I certainly hope so. But like we've talked about, like when that game cranks up tomorrow, this game should have no effect. I mean, they're not going to care. Their starting pitcher is not going to care what we did today. He's going to be out there to get the first guy out and let's roll. So we, it's our job to carry that momentum as far as we can, or the confidence from the at-bats, or whatever the case may be, into tomorrow. What was the mood or the vibe when it was 8-2? to two? <clears throat> um, Well, to be honest, it was it was down a little bit. Um, you know, you think, here we go, you know, kind of a, a little bit. But then I thought a, a, big part, a big point in that game was the fact that before the game, Clarky and Barlow said they both wanted to pitch today because they had four days off. So that gave us some some feeling of like, okay, we'll keep it close. And then we've done this before, where we've put some rallies together, and you know, it start you start to feel it coming, you know, in the seventh there. And so didn't feel like it was over, you know, and, and it felt like we had a shot to climb back into it. Mentioned that the hits will come and with runners and scoring. <coughs> What did you see from your offense in the seventh and eighth to be able to put those together? Well, first we took we took what they gave us. You know, they walked us a couple of times, and those are good at bats. Again, you, the thing that with those shadows, that's those are tough. You know, and, and for our guys to bear down on and not expand. You know, especially 
I thought a big one was Prado taking the left-on-left uh, left walk there, you know. Um, that was a really big at-bat. You know, obviously he got the hit, too. That was a big at-bat. Um, but, you know, the hit by pitch, the, the, the couple of the innings mirrored each other. Like, we walked a couple of their guys, hit a guy, same thing going back and forth, and we, we were able to take advantage of it.